What's up, yo? It's your boy, head coach Ross of the Tax Gym Street Warriors. Coming right at you, you know. I'm going to tell you what I said or thought about uh, UFC 210. But first, I'm going to need you to subscribe to my channel. You know, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. You drop a comment in the comment section. Go to my website at taxgymcapoeira. All right, googlesites.com. Okay? All right. Now I want to say to you exactly what you guys already know. I said on the various MMA forums. Uh... Because all of my predictions except for one came true in UFC 210. The one that I didn't get right was that I chose Will Brooks to win. Okay? And I expected him to actually pour on the steam and uh, either finish or take a unanimous decision. To the shocker of everyone, Will Brooks uh, got caught in the standing choke. I think it was the first round. That's all right. He'll be back. You know, he'll win. He'll smoke smoke old boy and come back and win. Yes, watch me say it. Watch me say it before. You know what I mean? Uh, I've been writing every other prediction. I was right on it. Uh, even call the even call the submissions that were used. So, you know, check your boy right now. Will Brooks will come back. It's my prediction. He'll come back and he'll win. He'll go on a winning streak. He will. Okay, now, what else for the UFC 210? I told you guys this. I've been saying this for like a year and a half now. Give DC his props. That dude is serious. He's got real skills. He comports himself as a real champion. He's a mature man. He's in his late 30s. So uh, as far as the sport is concerned, he's an older guy. But in real life, he's not an older guy at all. Okay? But he, he's a high, high level uh, athlete, a highly skilled, multi-talented, now pretty much fully formed so-called mixed martial artist, give him his respect. Give him his prop. Stop down, stop downplaying it. He is the baddest dude not named John Jones in the light heavyweight uh, picture, and he's one of the baddest dudes at the heavyweight, heavyweight division too. Give him his credit. He's an incredible champion. He's an incredible champion. So, I pretty much oh oh no no it doesn't no it doesn't some of you I got some email you're going like you are you are just a barber growl yeah I picked gay guard Musashi to beat Chris Whiteman yeah I like Chris Whiteman a lot but I think that Chris Whiteman's standing defense is overrated I think actually that uh that Anderson Silva like I said in the MMA forums that Anderson Silva was the one who exposed uh, uh, Whiteman's susceptibility to various strikes. And if Anderson hadn't broken his shin in their rematch, like I've been saying from the very beginning, since even before the rematch, Anderson would beat him. Gego Masasi did what I said, said that elite, elite strikers would do. Luke Rockhold did what I said that elite MMA guys would do. I feel that um, I feel like Whiteman is actually a little bit too big to be a middleweight. I think that the weight cut is cutting into him and is sapping his strength, his endurance, his uh, skill, his energy during the championship in middle rough rounds. It's, it's, I think it's time for him to be 205. And like I said to you guys before, I think it's time for the UFC to actually enforce his weight classes at 205. And I think that the UFC should introduce more weight classes, period. I think that the heavyweights division should be from uh, 215 to 235. And I think there should be a... Uh, I, excuse me, check that, check that. I think that the uh, light heavyweight division uh, should be... It should be... What is it? Yeah, it's, I think I think after middleweight there should be a cruiserweight division. Okay, so I think there should be after 185. I think there should be a a, a class from a 195 to 210. Then for heavyweight, I think there should be uh, 220 to 240. Now why am I letting that 10 pound play in between 210 and 220? Because I think you got to give a little play to to light heavyweights. You know, uh, who come in a little bit over. 10 pounds in this kind of sport, while it would be devastating in a sport like boxing, where you're mostly coming from here, it's not really that big of a difference. You'll be okay. You know, uh, also, I want to, 
I want to give uh, some kind of parity to the weight classes, you know, and sliding and stuff, whatnot, uh, that we give uh, for women. Women have a biological, a biological issue wherein they might retain more weight because of their cycles. And there are some women, you know, like Gabby size, who actually are humongous and actually are good athletes and who can get in. And I mean, we're talking like Olympic heavyweight judo women, Olympic heavyweight wrestling women, Olympic heavyweight um, uh, taekwondo women, Olympic heavyweight boxers. It's big ladies, big ladies. And they're not all humongous, hulking and guy looking. They, they look good. And they're, they're, they're like 200 pounds. So what? Get with the times. That was supposed to be. So yeah. Uh, in that same vein, just to let you know, because yes, I said in the MMA forum, I've been saying this for like two years now. There should be a 160-pound weight division because that's really Cyborg's weight. Cyborg should not be fighting at 45. She'd be fighting at about 60, 65 tops. She walks around at like 71. All right, 74, 75. So, and, and she's and she's muscle. She's in good shape, man. But you know, uh, eat, get 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 a, get on the old salad diet, knock in some cardio. Should be at 165, and if anything, it should be even more devastating than before because she doesn't have to do that horrible weight cut. A horrible weight cut that, if you paid any attention, watch the videos on YouTube. This girl, this incredibly tough warrior woman, is reduced to tears because the weight cut is so brutal and so savage. So, no, uh, I'm not a fan of that, like I said before. And like I say, every time I talk about it, uh, I talk about the weight cuts. I take about the lack, talk about the lack of sufficient weight classes. And it played a major uh, part in UFC 210, too. I mean, it was so brutal that, that Cormier was like, nah, this is the last time I'm going to 205. You know, uh, Cormier should be fighting at the uh, heavyweight division at around 225. You know, uh, heavyweight, light heavyweight division in that area. All right, so I, the reason why I think that there should be a heavyweight division that's ratcheted up a bit is because there's so many big, big, big athletes. There should there should be a super heavyweight division, and there's plenty of athletes to actually fill up the super heavyweight division. And I think the super heavyweight division should be about two fifty five on up, two sixty on up. I think two, I think super heavyweight at two fifty five is a little light. I think about um. 265 down up to 85 290 yeah I think you can do it there's enough there's enough guys to do who can do that if you doubt me think about the number of guys who, who would normally play defensive line or offensive line who are now learning MMA look at the number of heavyweights you know in the elite sports around the world the Olympic sports who would take advantage of the MMA option if it was presented to them You'd have quite a talent pool of, 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 of athletes teeming with skill and with a long history ahead of them. So, yeah. Give DC's props. Respect the hell out of Anthony Johnson. Rumble. That's my man. I like that dude. Even though, you know, I think there's a real issue with, with cardio. I think there's more connected with other issues that's outside the, the, the sport itself. I think he has some personal issues and some other things, you know, as he's maturing in his life that's impacting his focus, his desire insofar as uh, being in the MMA is concerned. Uh, but I don't see him being able to beat either a, a DC or Jones unless he lands one of his his, his thunderous AJ uh, shots on there. So, uh, actually, I think he had to land about three or four in a row to put those guys down and in, 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 in a position where the referee uh, would have to would have to intervene. So that's my take. You know, uh, I think that AJ, with the proper nutrition and proper diet, I think he'd be a pretty good uh, cruiserweight champion. If he would, uh, if the UFC were to add more weight classes, I think he could uh, chop down another five six pounds and uh, be a good cruiserweight champion, you know, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts, so, what, let me know what y'all think, you know, tell me, you know, those are good ideas, 
you know, or you don't know what the hell you're talking about, Coach Ross. You know what I mean? But whatever you do, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to go to my website and support us, okay? You know, that's 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 attached Jim Capoeira, Google Sites.com. Because it's free for you to watch the videos, but it's not free for me to make it and take the time, etc. so on and so forth. And I love interacting with y'all, but you guys gotta help your boy out. So go to my website, purchase it, uh, share my videos, you know, comment, and all the good stuff, all right? You guys take care of yourself. Until the next time, I'm absolutely right as usual when it comes to sports and most other stuff in life because that's what Coach Ross does. I'm right about stuff. All right. Asante sana. Ashe. Amani.